question number 146 infectious form of plasmodium that is sporozoites reside in the salivary glands of and the options are human female culex female anopheles and male anopheles and as you can see in this diagrammatic representation of life cycle of this protozoan plasmodium you can see here that mature infectious form or sporozoites they reside in the salivary glands of mosquito and as we can see here it is a female mosquito which one female anopheles is a vector for this disease so the correct answer to this question is option number three sporozoites or infectious form of plasmodium called sporozoites they reside in the salivary glands of female anopheles male anopheles cannot be a correct answer because the vector is a female anopheles mosquito the first option human cannot be a correct answer because this mature form or infectious form reside in the salivary gland of female anopheles and not in infected man and the second option female culex cannot be a correct answer as the vector of malaria is female anopheles and not culex so the correct answer to this question is option number three let's discuss our next question question number 147 during malaria the rupture of rbc's is associated with the release of which is responsible for the chill and high fever recurring every three to four days choose the option which fills the blank correctly and the options given are hemocyanin hemoglobin hemozoin and hemolymph and we know that the correct answer to this question is option number three hemozoin because during malaria rupture of rbc's is associated with the release of toxic substance called hemozoin which is responsible for chill and high fever recurring every three to four days now let's discuss rest of the options the very first option given is hemocyanin and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because hemocyanin is a respiratory protein in some invertebrates the next option is hemoglobin and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because hemoglobin is also an oxygen carrying respiratory pigment the last option is hemolymph and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because hemolymph is a fluid that occupies hemocele in some invertebrates such as arthropods so the correct answer to our question is option number three let's discuss our next question question number 148 choose the odd one with respect to genera responsible for ringworm and the options given are microsporum trichophyton epidermophyton and salmonella and we know that the correct answer to our question is option number four salmonella because salmonella is a pathogenic bacteria on the other hand many fungi belonging to the genera microsporum trichophyton and epidermophyton are responsible for ringworm so these cannot be the correct answer and the correct answer to this question is option number four let's discuss our next question question number 149 fish used in mosquito control is and the options are katla rohu gambusia and common carp and we know that gambusia is a larvivorous fish which feeds on mosquito larvae and help control spread of vector borne diseases such as malaria and filariasis so the correct answer to our question is option number three gambusia gambusia is a fish used in mosquito control let's discuss rest of the options the very first option is katla second option is rohu and the last option given is common carp and these cannot be the correct answer because these are freshwater fishes which are commonly used or reared in fisheries so the correct answer to this question is option number three let's discuss our next question question number 150 read the following statements and choose the correct option statement a says breeding between animals of the same breed having common ancestors for four to six generations is called outbreeding and this is an incorrect statement because outbreeding is the breeding of the unrelated animals which may be between individuals of same breed but having no common ancestors for four to six generations so this is an incorrect statement let's read the second statement statement b says a group of animals 
unrelated by descent and dissimilar in most characters like general appearance, features, size, configuration etc are said to belong to the same breed and this is also an incorrect statement because a group of animals related by descent and not unrelated by descent and similar in most characters and not dissimilar in most characters like general appearance, features, size and configuration etc are said to belong to the same breed. So both the statements are incorrect. Let's read the options. Very first option given is both statements are correct and this cannot be answer to our question. Only statement A is correct. This cannot be a correct answer to our question because both statements are incorrect. Statement A is correct explanation of B. This cannot be a correct answer to our question. The last option is both statements are incorrect and this is a correct answer to our question. So the correct answer is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question.